Yo, what's up? I'm Nando, and this is See Me Gang. El Callejón 16.com What made me different from other artists? Basically, the simple fact that like I'm so authentic, like everything is so authentic. Everything I do is authentic. I put my whole fucking heart in this shit. What's in my ass? You see what I'm saying? Like doing everything outside of it. I mean, I, I'm keeping up with myself for real, for real. I'm racing myself, I'm not racing nobody else. And that's what make my music like. You see what I'm saying? That's what made my music so hot. Like, I put all my pain into it. That's, that's really how I talk, basically. That's what made me different. I'm thinking about more than just, I'm overthinking, but I'm not closing myself into overthinking. I'm thinking about more than just like, just the music, just the this and that. You see what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, people got, we got kids. You see what I'm saying? So my shit, my shit better be hotter than I think it does way past a certain point. But yeah. Uh, I consider myself the hottest because when it come down to it, I can match anybody's shit and not surpass it. Like, you put me on a song with somebody, you're going to be like nine times out of ten, like, damn, like, he ran that joint. Whole time, I'm only focused on making a good song. I want to play my part for real, for real. But nine times out of ten, you're going to be like, damn, like, he did this or he said this. Like, damn, that shit hit a little different. Da -da -da -da. You see what I'm saying? So, like, when I first was making music, I was more so, like, I was never really trying to compete with people, like, from my city or local. You see what I'm saying? I was really trying to compete with niggas way further than me. I was trying to fuck with, like, Kendrick, Cole. I was trying to talk, like, on a deeper level, like, them. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to fuck with motherfuckers like that, like, talk deep on them type time. So I'm not really trying to give you half-ass shit. Like, I, I really want you to understand, like, this is more than just what it is. Like, it's deeper. I'm talking deeper. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to spend more about my vocabulary more and shit like that. So it's it's, it's more to it. That's, that's why. That's pretty much why. Top five. That's a lot of niggas. <laughs> That's a lot of niggas. <laughs> you are just top five. Ah, uh, top five. I'm flying in there. I say Daryl Hana. I'm put Thurl Nas in there. 808 Militant. NBH Glizzy. 4K Trey. Like, that's, that's my top five. I'm gonna be honest. My top five is, is more than five, but it's my top five. Like, that's, that's my top five. Ambitious, optimistic, and genuine. I say ambitious because I got a strong ambition. Like, I ain't never give a fuck what was going on. I always kept pushing, like, kept pushing. I don't give a fuck what it is. It ain't even just gotta be music. I'm pushing for something. Like, I'm saying, I ain't wanna be broke. I got my ass, make sure I wasn't broke. I ain't wanna be fucking dry with the music. I got my ass, make sure I went harder in the music. I ain't wanna be fucking getting on a fucking bus. I got my ass found a way to get a fucking car. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I found a way. I'm ambitious. Like, I got a goal. I'm putting my mind to something. I'm always going to work towards it. I don't know for how long it takes. I don't care what the circumstances is. I'm going to push towards that goal. And I'm going to make sure that shit happen. Optimistic. I feel like nothing really surprised me that much. I've been through a lot of shit. When I was young, I felt like the shit I was going through was normal. And it's normal. And I, my area circumstances, but it's not really normal to our uh, average joke. So it's like a lot of shit that I went through. I feel like it wasn't, it wasn't, it, it, it basically made me more my out, outgoing for my mind. Like my mind was more optimistic. So it made me optimistic as a person. Like a lot of shit don't surprise me. A nigga could be shooting on the block right now. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? Like, somebody could go rob a bank, and the bank blow up. I'm pretty sure that's when it happened. Only thing that probably make, like, really surprise me or some shit is if a fucking dragon come out the sky or some shit. I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, that'd probably surprise me. Like, but other than that, like, I, like, the human shit, like, 
animal shit. Like, that's, I, I ain't really too surprised. Like, I've seen a lot of shit you know, in my lifetime. So, I'm, I'm really optimistic. I'm optimistic about good shit, too, though. Uh, I'm optimistic about luck. Like, I, I, I used to not really believe in luck. But I feel like it's up to you how you decide about that that happening for you and stuff like that. You might find a lucky charm or something like that. You might say it's lucky. To anybody else, they might look at this shit, they ain't lucky. You see what I'm saying? But it's it's how you go about it. You see what I'm saying? It might be something that's lucky for you. It might push you on more positive moods and stuff like that when you're going through hard times. So, you know, that's what uh, a lot of things made me optimistic. As far as uh, genuine, that's this type of person. I, I'm a genuine person. Like, I understand that just because I'm going through something, that mean don't mean the next man going through something. You see what I'm saying? Like, I do things out of the kindness of my heart. And sometimes it's not even just out of the kindness of my heart. It's just like, it's a part of me. Like, it's the type of person I am. Patience. It takes patience. Like, I'd probably be like the example of a patient artist. Because when you, you could be a talented motherfucker, you could work your ass off. It might not come as fast as you think it come. You see what I'm saying? Like, you could be as independent as you want to be. It might still not come as fast as you want it to come or how fast as you believe it will come. It might take long. It might take long as shit. You see what I'm saying? So it's all about patience. Like, if for a learning process for me, like, if you want to learn something from me as an artist, like, patience, still do what you're doing. Keep your grind, not stop, don't stop. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna happen. Uh, take care of your responsibilities still. Don't get lost and just do what you gotta do. I done been through a lot of shit, had to deal with all street politics. Try and get inside of shit, make it home, cause it's hard to bottle shit. Being my own man, gonna get them gone, cause it's hard to follow shit. Closing my emotions on my own, cause it's hard to swallow shit.